Welcome to Express Game Maker. In this tutorial, we are going to cover the map editor and making a map. Let's begin by covering some of the tools. You can change the map size, grid size, gravity, and default effects such as background music and fog. You can also dim unselected layers, show grid, snap to grid, and show collision. Snap to grid is very useful for tiled games. When mapping, there are two important technical things to consider. One of them is layers. You have to decide what goes below and above other tiles, the player, and other characters. For example, the tree trunks are below the player, but the leaves are above. The second thing is collision. For example, many RPG style maps have cliffs, trees, or other structures blocking the edges of the map. In this case, we are using the trees, flowers, and rocks to block top and bottom of the map. Unless necessary, it's not a good idea to place clutter on walking paths as it can be annoying to dodge them. Now let's check collision and see where we left open spots. Notice that snap the grid is currently off. This will allow for easier detailing. That's great, now the top. Now that we have our map, let's check out a few more features. If you added your tiles into the wrong layer, you can select them and move them up or down a layer. Another feature in the map editor is the ability to, to modify a tile's properties, such as its scale, rotation, and opacity.
Thanks for watching. See you next time.